Hello, uh, welcome to Edgewater Church. We are so excited that you guys decided to worship with us this weekend. My name is uh, David Schutte. I'm the director of student ministries. I happen to be a hobbyist uh, antiquer. A lot of you guys say, well, I didn't know you were an antiquer. You should watch the Antique Roadshow. Maybe you'll see me. For example, uh, we found this lovely lady and what she's called is Queen Bee. Doll originated in China around the 16th century. This particular one, I believe, is from the 19th century, and the average retail price is around $3,000. So you can tell when they try to sell it for $3.50, you're getting a pretty good bargain. First things first, pull out your cell phones and check in on Facebook. Checking in on Facebook is one of our favorite things because uh, we want the community to know that they've got friends that worship here at Edgewater. We have an awesome ministry called TNT, Treasure Hunters in Training. It's a cool thing you do where you uh, ask the Holy Spirit, who, who do you want me to talk to? And you say, God leads you to find somebody uh, that needs some prayer. This would be a great chance for you to really stretch your faith. Sign-ups are at the Get Connected table, and the meeting is June 7th. Our next antique comes from the Inuit people of northern Canada, specifically Nineveh. And if you're like, Nineveh's not a real place, you know none of it, because it is. I study geography. This doll is called Nineveh Nancy. This is seal fur. This is illegal to trade in America, but at the thrift store, we shouldn't be trading this. I gotta talk to somebody. On June 7th, we have pizza with the pastor. If you've never got a chance uh, to meet Pastor Dan, that is a great chance that you can sit down and have a uh, lunch conversation with them. See what Edgewater's about, see what we're about, and how you can fit in uh, to this community of faith. And this summer for the student ministry, we have activities just about uh, every day. And if this is all a lot to keep up with, there's a pink sheet at the Get Connected table. We would love to get a chance to hang out with you this summer. Grab a pink sheet at the table and come check us out. Arnold Palmer not only invented sweet tea and lemonade, he invented these. You grab your putter and then you swing. Uh, this is the quintessential Kenny Rogers album. And a lot of you guys are like, whoa, whoa, antique guy. Every album of Kenny Rogers is quintessential. Love will turn you around. And love did turn me around, Kenny Rogers. Love did. If you haven't had a shot to yet, get some information about Vacation Bible School. If you're like, I don't have a kid, you've got neighbors that have kids. Just because you don't go to Edgewater Church does not mean that you can't enjoy our awesome VBS. Sign-ups are on the uh, ARC desk on the way out of the worship center there on the left. This is not actually an antique. I'm just kind of doing a personal pitch. This is my DVD Power 90s, Gold 5 and 6. What we're trying to do is give people a 5 and even a 6 pack like I have. You can tell because this is my abs right here on the box and this is me. As we continue the series called Bless This Home, the band is gonna come up and sing a song by Philip Phillips called Home. So if you would, just stay seated, relax, and enjoy. Hold on to me as we go. As we hold down. This way is stringing us along. Just know you're not alone. I'm gonna make this place yours. Don't pay 
All right. Thank you, praise team. Welcome, everyone. My name is Nancy Wellinghoff, and if you are a first, second, or third time visitor here, we're so glad you're here. If you would do us a favor, please, tear off the sheet in the bulletin and fill out the information and then drop it in the giving box on your way out. On the other side of that little tear-off sheet is a place for you to put your prayer requests and glory sightings. We just get so excited about hearing about how God is working in your life, so please be sure to tell us those wonderful things. Like the antique guy said, uh, Pizza with the Pastor is next week after the 11 o'clock service, so if you'd like to learn more about Edgewater, please attend that. Also in the lobby is our Get Connected table. And there are also some other tables out there with good information. And please, please read your bulletin. Uh, We just can't tell you about everything that's going on here because there's so much going on. And finally, the giving boxes are for our tithes and offerings. The Bible tells us to be cheerful givers. So uh, if you don't use the giving boxes, you can also donate online. Use our online services. So now before we get back into worship, if everyone please would stand up and greet your neighbors.
hear the joyful sound of our offering as your saints bow down as your people sing we will rise with you lifting on your
same power that raised Jesus from the dead is now with us and inside of us. We thank you that you give us and you empower us to conquer sin. You empower us to go through life. In the middle of what the world tries to offer, we can conquer it by having joy and by having hope in your name. Jesus, we thank you that you came to this earth and lived that perfect life and died that death for us. And that you raised, that you were risen, that you rose again, and you are alive now and forever. So we stand here this morning and we just celebrate your freedom. We celebrate your joy. We celebrate your grace and forgiveness. It's nothing that we earn. It's nothing that we can uh, amount to, but we thank you, God, that your love is so great that you give it unashamedly, that you give it extravagantly. So Lord, may our lives be a reflection of your extravagant grace to us. Holy Spirit, have your way in our hearts this morning. Make us, mold us, change us, make us new. We want to become more like you. We want to know you more. We want to follow you further. So may there be no distractions in this place, and may we just give you, may we just focus our gaze upon you. And everything we do this morning, may it be for your glory alone. We love you, God, and we thank you that you are here with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You can be seated.
can I say? What can I do? 